Oh my dears, a warm good afternoon to all of you. I hope you all are staying safe in your home. It is no sooner we all are going to meet very soon because we know that schools are going to reopen very fast and things will be normal. But don't forget to complete the activities and your homeworks prescribed at the end of the video classes every day. Let us start today's class. In the previous class, we saw that our characters Ramanna, Narayan, Kannan, Shastri, all of them were having a discussion together from Ramanna's key stop. They were discussing about the problems that are going to face by the village people when Sagar is going to construct the five-star hotel. We saw that Kannan was having a different opinion from all others. Shastri mentioned the menace behind the construction of the five-star hotel. He also commented that Dharmagiri can no longer sustain a fee, a 30 feet above building in its ground. So there can be situations where the earth can tremble. There can be situations for many disasters. So let us wait and watch what is going to happen in our next scene today. Scene 4 Grandmother hobbles onto stage with Narayan and stands in front of the curtain. Grandmother, tell me what happened. Narayan, the villagers don't want the hotel. We went to Mr. Sagar and explained that not only would our village be ruined, but the mountain itself was in danger. They cannot dig a deep foundation on it. Grandmother, what did Saga say? Narayan, he was annoyed. Do you village bumpkins know more than the engineers and architects from the big cities? He asked. Pauses. Then sadly, they are starting with tomorrow. Grandmother, sadly, where will they go? The rabbits, the deer and the partridge. Who will listen to their plight? Who will listen to our river? Our clean, beautiful, sweet watered river that will now turn foul with filth? And who will listen to the sorrow of Dharmagiri? when it is massacred by roads and burdened with buildings. The noise, the pollution, oh! To the audience, you think I'm crazy because I care for these things? Because I can hear their voices. Don't believe me if you don't want to. But I know. The mountains, the rivers, the trees and the animals, they all speak just like you and me. If only we listen to them. But the world now is so full of noise. How can anyone hear the softly gurgling stream? Or the breeze as it rustles through the leaves? Or the flutter of a bird's wings? Narayan, now, Aji, don't get upset. Grandmother, wiping her eyes, I know. What has the hotel go to do with me? She turns to her grandson. You know something? This has more to do with the children of our village than anyone else. Tomorrow's world is their world. Pauses, thinking. You are the schoolmaster. You must talk to the children. Find out what they feel about it. Don't put ideas into their head. Just tell them everything and let them think for themselves. They go off stage through left and re-enter from right. Grandmother. What did the children have to say? They don't want a hotel on Dharmagiri if it will ruin our countryside. Grandmother. I thought so. Children are wise. It is still not too late. We must take a stand or else big people with some small heart will swallow this beautiful village of ours. Narayan, 
Mr. Dixit is arriving tomorrow. They will start laying the foundation. We will stage a peaceful protest and submit a petition. Grandmother, good luck, son. Good luck. They move off stage. Now, it is time for you to read the text silently. Plight. The meaning of the word plight is the pathetic situation. You can say that, oh, that was my plight. Patridge. Patridge. A short tailed game bird. Massacre. The act of killing helpless people. For example, people were massacred in numbers at Jallian Wala Bag. Gurgle. Gurgle. Bubbling sound of water produced using throat. Here, birds are making the sound which means chirping of the birds are mentioned here. Rustles. Mild soft sound of dry leaves when they move. I walked on a street to listen to the rustling sound. Flutter. To fly unsteadily, flapping the wings. The parrot fluttered above. Come, let us discuss together and find out the answers for these questions. Name the characters that appear when the scene opens. What is the meaning of the word village bumpkin? With whom did Saga compare the poor villagers? Grandmother hobbles onto the stage and stands near Narayan when scene 4 opens. Grandmother asked what happened. Narayan said the villagers didn't want a hotel on Dharmagiri. He added that they had gone to Mr. Sagar and explained their situation. Eagerly, Grandmother asked his reply. Narayan said, He was annoyed. He belittled them as village bumpkins and insulted their knowledge, asking whether they are rich with building constructions than the architects and engineers. Grandmother was worried about the rabbits, the deers, the partridges, and all the minute creatures of the native. She was worried about their plight. She was asking who would listen to the river, the clean, beautiful, sweet-watered river that would now turn foil, foul and filthy. Foul and filth, which means very dirty, stinky smell, bad, unclean. And who will listen to the sorrow of Dharmagiri when it is massacred by roads and burdened with buildings? She also worries about the noise, pollution. And she asks to the audience whether they think she is crazy. She is getting worried and say about the mountain, the rivers, trees and animals. She says that they are speaking to her. She could hear the agony of the mountain and the gurgling stream, the rustling breeze and the clutter of the birds. Narayan wanted her grandmother not to be upset. Wiping her tears, grandmother said she knew that a construction has got nothing to do with her. She said, It is the children of their village who can do anything here. Because tomorrow's world is their world. She said, Narayan must talk to the children and find out 
what they would feel about this. She also advised Narayan not to put ideas onto their head. Instead, make them to come up with their ideas regarding this. Both of them went off stage and came from each other later, each other sides later. Grandmother suddenly asked Narayan, what did the children say? Narayan was replying that they did not want a hotel on Dharmagiri if it will ruin the village. Grandmother replied, she also thought so because children are wise. She also added it is not that late because they wanted to save their village from the hands of the filthy people with small heart whom are here to swallow the beauty of their village. Narayan added that Vixis would arrive the next morning. They would start laying the construction for the foundation. He decided that they would stay silent and file a petition submitting their disapproval. Grandmother blessed his grandson and move off the stage. Comment on the expression big people with small hearts. How does grandmother remind her grandson about his duties? About whom was grandmother worried? The world is theirs. Who were mentioned here? It is time for a small assignment. Let us create the conversation between Narayan and the children when he informed them about the new construction at Dharmagiri. Conversation Narayan My dear children, please come. I have an important thing to say. Children Yes, Master. Narayan Children, tomorrow onwards our Dharmagiri is no more ours. It is going to be the hands of businessmen. A multi-storied hotel is coming up in our village and we can never see our beautiful village anymore as it is now. We may have to get displaced from our homes and what do you feel about this issue, dears? Children, we will never go away from here. We want to live here with our rabbits, patridges and want to play in the river, fields, slopes. We will never allow anybody to ruin our countryside. Never ever. Here is today's assignment. Let us imagine a poster and prepare the poster that the students might have prepared Soon after hearing the words from Narayan that the village is going to affect when the building is coming up. So prepare a poster creatively using colors and all the necessary aids that you need and send it to me very soon. and activities let us stop here today and i'll come with the next scene in the next class all of you stay safe thank you